Hello and welcome my Gemini friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a, f a group reading for the full frost moon for my Gemini friends. The full frost moon is rising with the zodiac sign Taurus. This cool crisp moon is going to have a sense of stability as it's rising with that earth energy of Taurus. Now Taurus is going to give that stabilizing energy that we need to combat the complexities that are happening right now. Mercury retrograde is in its fullest and it's swinging pretty good right now. This stabilizing energy will help us overcome some of that impact of Mercury retrograde. So today what we're going to look at what the full frost moon has to offer my Gemini friends and how we can really embrace those positive aspects of what it's offering us. In this reading we're going to really look at how the full frost moon is going to impact us and how we can kind of use it to our advantage in mapping out and planning out what we're going to do next. For this reading I'm going to be using the witch's tarot and then I'll be ending off the session with a blessing from the druid animal oracle. Like always there's links below to both these fantastic decks so should they speak to you you can go check them out for yourselves. All right my Gemini friends let's see what the cards have to say. What card symbolizes the full frost moon for my Gemini friends? Oh, got a jumper. Making sure there wasn't another one. It's a good jumper. He's the hermit. He's the ninth card in the major arcana. Talks about that important journey inwards. That need to reflect on ourselves and all those darker places that we have kind of pushed to the back, those shadow areas. It's where we keep our shadow self. The hermit has a beautiful light. It's usually the Star of David in his lap that will help illuminate the way. Let's look at the challenge. What challenge does my Gemini friends have to face with the full frost moon. That's the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Threes talk about expression and growth. Pentacles are about that growth and abundance. The three of pentacles is a trades card, a mastery card. Pamela Coleman Smith, her original drawing of the three of pentacles is a craftsman hammering away at this cathedral with two people watching him. An abbot and a, an architect. It's going to be really easy to throw ourselves into work rather than to actually do some hard work and go inwards. That avoidance piece, we're really good at it. We can find avoidance everywhere and sometimes work seems like a great place to do it. The work is on the inside with the frost moon or it is also called the beaver moon we're looking at the ability to do some hard work and in, in building some foundations uh, the native americans called this full moon that usually occurs in november the beaver moon because this is when the beavers are really fortifying their their dams and kind of going inwards if you will literally and it's kind of what we need to do is go inwards into their dams and hibernating for the winter so for us, it's really about going inwards. We're not going to hibernate there. That's a big piece of this. However, we do need to visit it and gain some more insight into aspects of ourselves that we've really been pushing to the back. And in some cases, we've forgotten. All right, let's look at what's going to help us. What will help my Gemini friends embrace the full frost moon and the hermit. It's the eight of swords. Eights are about movement and manifestation. To be honest, she's not going anywhere. What's going to help us embrace the hermit? is really letting go of that emotional state right now and focusing on, on the knowledge piece. 
There's lots going on, let's be honest. We're in the middle of a full swing of Mercury retrograde. Lots of emotions happening because things have been taken in different manners than what they were meant. Past experiences have happened. And again, we have more emotional baggage. To fully embrace what the Hermit is offering us and what the full moon is offering us, we had to really move past these pains and go for the knowledge piece. That knowledge piece is going to be really key for receiving the messages that the, the full moon is offering you. Let's look at what message the, the full moon has for my Gemini friends. That's the Nine of Pentacles. Nines are about all that hard work that you've put into your your life, your situation, and all that you have received from it. Pentacles, again, we're looking at that growth and abundance. You've achieved so much in your life. What the, the full moon is offering you is more. More growth, more prosperity. When we start to really connect in with those darker shadowy places inside of ourselves we're able to really lead a life of authenticity and that's really important when we are more ourselves and we have more of ability to be ourselves we're going to have more fulfillment and enjoyment from our lives so what the hermit and the full moon are offering you is that joy happiness and more importantly prosperity that abundance piece comes in very clear with the nine so let's go at the outcome. This is the information when we embrace the Hermit and the Full Moon. We're going to gain that knowledge about ourselves to grow. What else will the Full Moon offer my Gemini friends? And I say offer as this is a map. We're not going to, this is not a for sure thing. This is something that the full moon is offering you. It is your choice. We have free will to take this up and take on this task. Because what's offering you is yet another nine, the nine of cups. Same piece. We're looking at lots of abundance here. The nine of cups is more connected into your intuition and your emotions. You're going to not only see that growth piece with that uh, sense of emotional control. However, your intuition will increase as well. You're gonna gain more insight into yourself and you're going to raise your vibration, which is going to make things easier to do that connecting piece. Now we do have double nines. In angel messages, when you're looking at a double nine, it's time to work on your life's purpose, really connecting into that deeper purpose for your soul. However, when you're doing this deeper work, making sure that you have compassion, compassion for yourself, because when you're looking at going deep, it's never um, an easier light journey. It's something that takes a lot of energy and time. And having that awareness that this is going to take a little bit of time, this is something that you can start off and have that, that strong foundation offered by this um, Scorpio full moon rising with Taurus. All right, let's look at what's going to help give you a good foundation to jump off that platform piece to really embrace the full moon and what it is that it is offering you. We have the Eight of Wands. With the Eight of Wands, you can see the movement and manifestation. You can't really see it so much in the Eight of Swords, but the Eight of Wands, you can see that movement. These wands are being thrown like javelins from the universe down towards you. It's going to pass lots of abundant areas and a lot of watered areas. And water is connected with our intuition. So we have a balance between spiritual and that physical plane. The Eight of Wands really talks about that movement piece 
when you connect in and tap into that inner strength, that willpower, when you use that to drive yourself forward, you're going to find that there's going to be a lot more movement and connection in with the hermit and these nines. Fun point, you have two eights, two nines, two eights. When you look at angel messages, double nines means it's time to work on your life's purpose. Double eights in angel messages means to stay true to your passions because abundance and prosperity, including material prosperity is coming your way when you really embrace that inner passion, that drive. Really double eights encompasses the eight of wands using that inner drive to create abundance and prosperity in your life. Let's look at what your shadow self wants to add. It's a 10 of wands. Your shadow self is telling you very clearly, work smart rather than harder. Yes, this is gonna be a challenging journey because anytime we go inwards, it can be a challenge. However, if we work more efficiently using our willpower rather than emotion, we're going to find that we're not working harder. We're going to get further with less effort. So really connecting into that, that willpower to your solar plexus, if you will, so that you can use that energy rather than other energies and burning yourself out. Because the Eight of Swords can easily burn you out if you're really connecting into that emotion piece. This journey needs to be knowledge-based, head-driven, rather than heart-driven. Right, let's look at a blessing. What blessing does the frostful moon offer my Gemini friends? And it's such a fun card, the goose. The goose, if you've ever looked at a goose, they're very vigilant also very productive. They work as a team to make sure that their young are well cared for. The goose talks about that vigilance that has served you well. It also talks about that productivity, being able to be very abundant and lucrative in what you're doing. Another piece to this is the important aspect of duality. Geese don't usually do things solo. There's usually a whole flock of them. You'll see many of them working together on nurturing and caring for young, especially in a parent dyad. Just remember that you're not doing this journey alone. You have lots of support, not only on the physical plane, but also on the higher vibrational planes, including your higher vibrational self. That higher self is going to help you really connect into the hermit and help you dive deep into some of those darker places. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading. However, I drew these cards especially for my Gemini friends. What further information do they hold for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for a more personal or specific topic, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I will be running online introductory and interactive classes through Zoom over the next couple of months. My first class is on Monday, November 11th, where I'll be offering my introductions to angels and archangels. Then on December 9th, I'm going to be offering my introduction to connecting, which is a channeling class. If you're interested in both or either of these classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I provided a helpful link below to my classes page where you can go there directly to find out more information. I hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you're able to gain some direction and insight into what the full moon is offering you. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next, and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Gemini friends. <laughs>